over Jerusalem and why did it stop over one of the most treasured sites in Christianity we had, we've seen them in Mississippi like this but never like yeah. Well, if you surf around online today, uh, and it probably will not be long before you come across footage of a UFO in the skies over Jerusalem. 
Now it is sparking intense debate on the internet. Trace Gallagher following this live from our West Coast news. So the question is, what was that UFO? What was it doing over in Jerusalem? And, you know, is he back? Yeah, and that is the question, by the way, Megan, because, you know, critics, it's, it's difficult for them to dismiss this because there are so many different angles. We've got four different videos, all from various perspectives, uh, showing this light above the Dome on the Rock. In Jerusalem, the Temple Mount, of course, we know which is a holy site for both uh, Jews and Muslims. You see the shining ball of light, right? It's above there. It's kind of, well, they just froze it and really can't see it now. But there it is right there. It's at the top of the screen. Yeah. It's up there, and it hovers, kind of a pulsating orb. And then hold on here because this thing starts going down right toward, you see it there, going down toward the Dome of the Rock and the Temple Mount, and then it stops, and it hovers there for a while. It kind of sits there, and then all of a sudden it shoots straight back up into the air. Whoa. Now, experts say this would be kind of an indication this is an unmanned. There it is. You saw it right saw there. It. it shot straight back up in the air, yeah. It's kind of hard to see, but it shot up in the air, and the experts think that, you know, it's an unmanned vehicle, they believe. It could be a drone, but they do not know of anything like this in the Israeli army. Um, so they say this is either incredible video or some very well-orchestrated hoax. Some have said maybe this is a movie uh, that's, a, you know, putting out this, this uh, I don't know, what do you put out if your movie, a trailer or some kind of a, a hoax to try and promote a movie that's yet to be named? We don't know. Could be Jacob's Ladder? Remember Jacob's Ladder? No, I don't watch scary films. They freak me out. Well, no, the, the biblical thing where Jacob's Ladder, you know, was the, the Jews and the Christians believe Jacob's Ladder, who he saw in a dream, leads from the Temple Mount. I thought that was a thriller that, that, that went very scary. <laughs> that's, that's what one of the producers said. Yeah. I saw that movie. No, I'm talking about the biblical. Okay. <laughs> All right, because listen, I don't, I don't like to be scared. I, I just can't take it. It's, you know, I don't know what it is, but I, I don't like anything with torture, and I don't like to be scared. So that video, that doesn't make me feel either of those things, so we're okay. TG, thank We're you. We're going to follow up on it. You bet. What do you guys think? What was that? I mean, it's one thing if it just comes down, but then it goes back up. Mm -hmm. Kelly at foxnews.com. By the way, so far, you are not very forgiving of Christina Aguilera. Mm -mm. People think if you're going to sing the national anthem, get the words right. Still taking your emails. Uh, well, if everyone in Washington... See, perhaps also... You follow this. After the first and the second contact... See, impossible. These videos. Only 22 days passed. And then. Pesawat Boeing 757 milik maskapai penerbangan Air China dilaporkan harus melakukan pendaratan darurat. Pesawat penumpang dengan rute Chengdu Guangzhou itu menabrak sesuatu pada ketinggian sekitar 8.000 meter. Pilot pesawat melaporkan sempat kesulitan mengendalikan pesawat setelah terjadi benturan. Ia langsung memberitahukan kondisi darurat kepada pengatur lalu lintas udara. Boeing 757 itu pun diizinkan untuk kembali ke bandara asal. Pesawat dapat menyalat dengan selamat dan tidak terdapat korban dalam insiden itu. Ketika diperiksa, ditemukan bagian hidung pesawat mengalami kerusakan dan melesak cukup dalam. Awalnya, pesawat diduga bertabrakan dengan seekor burung. Namun tidak ditemukan bercak darah ataupun bulu pada bagian yang rusak itu. Dugaan dikembangkan pada kemungkinan lain. Benda yang menabrak pesawat berbadan lebar itu diduga adalah sebuah UFO. Hingga kini, otoritas penerbangan dan pemerintah Cina belum mengeluarkan pernyataan resmi tentang insiden tersebut. Pemerintah Cina memang dikenal bersifat tertutup dan sering menyimpan rahasia. Para peneliti dan pemerhati penerbangan berharap agar penyelidikan atas kejadian aneh tersebut diungkapkan kepada publik. Hal itu sangat penting bagi upaya peningkatan keselamatan penerbangan.
Okay, I'm filming the screen because I don't have time to install the software. This is Live Spacewalk NASA, September 5th. What is that little guy right next to that floating? Little dot there floating away from that arm. That's pretty suspicious to me. Hopefully somebody else is watching it. About 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. But it's around two o'clock. So I'm just gonna film and see what this little uh little army thing does. Makes it a little more exciting. Pretty boring, I'm gonna shut it off. And this day is it's actually right here. And it's drifted all the way out there. I thought maybe it was a reflection of part of the arm sticking out there, but Unless that's a uh, human waste receptacle thing. <laughs> I think they're being watched. I always wonder what they did with the uh, you know, waste products from the humans being up there. Oh, don't be losing the signal now. Don't conveniently lose the signal now. Drifting out of the camera range. Wish I had the uh, I have a screen capture, but it's a still screen capture thing, so I don't have the live streaming video capture thing loaded. So you have to suffer with me. Give me a camera. Let me get that. And there it is, So I'm just getting a little scrambled too. Maybe it's affecting the camera. I wouldn't doubt it. Okay, I don't know. On off screen. There's a nice little catcher there. Eh? Yeah, that green is from my pool. There you go, you go. NASA TV. Yeah, I just got done filming that. There is the time. And uh, I was watching it on my friend Sheila Aliens. Cool website. So I'm gonna check her out. She's gonna have live streaming both shots at once if you care to do it. Six hour space walk today. Thank you, Sheila Aliens, for turning me on to that. Go back, but it's around 2 o'clock. What, what is the this sparkle? He's shape right in front of my eyes. Is he? In the binoculars? Yeah. He's sparkly. What the hell? What wow. is he doing? Look at that! That is